Is that your official Just... move? That's my official move. Alex Gar's rules, bitch! Here's the question that I have. There was a certain person brought up last week that we said was a no-go because they were currently under contract with another company. Mm -hmm. Yet there was some speculation that that person may now be WWE bound. I think you're confusing him with someone else. Are you sure? Perhaps. <laughs> Good talk. The, the, mic, the mic sharing right now is amazing. Um, the, the, the gavel initially, so there's this triple threat match with this beef slamming triple threat match with Batista versus Lashley versus Braun Strowman. Initially, the gavel David Lawless wanted Moose mm -hmm. instead of Batista. Now, we checked on Moose's contract status. He signed like a three-year deal with Impact like last year, so we couldn't use <laughs> that it. That poor dumb bastard. But <laughs> Lashley, <laughs> Lashley has been a constant on this, a near constant on this uh, card uh, since we started it this year. And speak of the devil, he signed with WWE over the past week. That's the word, at least. Now's a good time for me to remind everyone that Jeff Jarrett is back in the good graces of <laughs> WWE Matt, right Matt, now. Matt, you it's shut It's always your mouth. important to remind people no, counts, that options counts. are out there. It counts. Um, Matt, you shut your mouth. Nope. We've gone, we've hey, gone further host. out the field to host. make a match. Jeff thing. Jarrett's okay, but Bart Gunn is not. Yeah. Yeah. Damn right. Yeah, I, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Jeff Jarrett's wrestled at least in the past you got two this? years. I feel free to ask questions. I, I'm, I'm very helpful. So, so talk it out. You, you just got, like the final puzzle on Wheel of Fortune. Just talk it out. I just had a brilliant idea for a yes. match in my head. Yes, yes, good. So, so let's take out that entire tag match. Which this Before. entire four way thing? Yep. Yes, yeah. good, good. Yeah. I like where you're going. And it could be with people with speculation that can be signed with WWE. It's not under contract, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to do the Honky Talk Man uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. and Rockabilly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Versus Double J. Yes, 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 yes. And Jesse James in a road yeah. dog. Yes, yes. I love it. It's great. It's perfect. I love, I love it. it. The New Age Outlaws explode at WrestleMania. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to oh, fit all man. the writing in here. And I can't wait to send this one to Garza. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's a good time to mention uh, thank you to Antonio Garza, the WrestlingRevolution.com, for providing our amazing graphics for this and what we use in Talking Mayhem Show, the hottest post podcast talk show on the internet right now, starring Matt Carlins. I have a request for the graphic, Antonio Garza, and please, we need to put this in the Slack when we send it to him. And if you guys forget, I will put it in there my damn self. Um, he's been doing the graphics where it's just the eyes. All we need are just those J JJ glasses. Yes. Yep. It should be. <laughs> okay. yes. You know what? I'm going to leave it to Garza. I think you're looking for the roadie is what you wanted to call the roadie. roadie yeah, the roadie bad. and roadie. double J, no, Jesse roadie, James. Jesse James. Exactly. Yeah, I think he was. Actually. Roadie, oh, he was Jesse just James. the roadie before he was the real yeah, double he... J, Jesse James. Because everyone knows That's he was the true. one who was really singing those songs. Mm-hmm. Spending my days working Matt, hard on, on the go. go. Yeah. <laughs> what? Matt. What? Um, I, I'm very this is this is might be my favorite round of Mayhem Mania ever. Yes. Good job. Do you do you there know you why? Go. Why? Do you know why? Because you got the Carlin. Because, I mean. because I get the Alex Cars rule next week, and if I'm not mistaken, my match is graduated. Oh, hold that thought, Mike, because ah! you are correct. One of our matches, you see, if a match, <laughs> if I'm, one of these matches survives three straight weeks without being altered in any single way, yeah. we kind of lock it in and move it over to a, like a quote-unquote super card, and then it kind of opens a slot up to create more matches. And indeed, one of these matches that was not touched this week, indeed, is graduating to the super card. It's all grown up. And we'll tell you Rick which O'Shea. match it was. Sh shut your mouth. Rick. And we'll tell you which match graduated on Talking Mayhem Mania coming up on uh, Better Podcast Networks all over the place. Sorgi, <laughs> let me run down this. Um, <laughs> let me run down the card for everybody. Yes, here. yes, yes. One last time. Oh, when I looked at that first, when I saw Sailor Moon and an iconic do, I'm like, because I don't watch a lot of WWE anymore. Yeah. And I'm thinking, so we can like put anything on it. I'm thinking like Sailor Moon versus the Care Bears. Yeah, that's, that's like yeah, the I'm first sorry. thing I'm thinking when I saw that. I, I'm sorry, they, they, fair, we we made Kyrie Sane and Ember Moon a tag team, and it just kind of popped into our heads. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Sailor dude. Moon. You had, 
team that you wanted to call the Care Bears? Yeah, man. No, he had, uh, the Care in. Bears would be uh, Bailey and um, Braun Elias. Strowman. Ba uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bailey and Braun Strowman. <laughs> All right, let's run down the card here. Let's run it down. What do we got? Uh, we got Sailor Moon versus the iconic duo. Uh, we've got Batista versus Lashley versus Braun Strowman. We've got AJ Styles versus Adam Cole versus a hopefully fully healed Samoa Joe. We have got Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. Elias versus the Velveteen Dream. Mm -hmm. Triple H versus Kurt Angle. Ricochet versus Pete Dunne. Ooh, no. And... The Honky Tonk Man and Rockabilly <laughs> versus Double J, Jeff Jarrett, and the Roadie. Hot damn, you're good at this. Rookie of the year. You're awesome. You are an instant, instant classic. I am in awe. Most people take weeks to get this right. Some people have been doing this for years and haven't figured it out yet. But uh, yes, you yes, figured yes. it out right away. That's yes. awesome. Well played. The bookers from certain wrestling promotions on television have participated in this. So, uh, of a so, certain lucha promotion. I, I, <laughs> from the chat room. Uh, wait, 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 he wait, was wait. awesome at this, too. He was awesome. He was amazing. It made it. it. it he made walked it. right in the door one time and just made the best match we'd ever seen. So. Yes, yes. He's used to just throwing, out, throwing the book in, isn't he? Uh, but what, what's up, Mike? From the chat room, Ed Burke says, speaking from experience, Braun is most definitely a bear. <laughs> Yeah, don't yeah. know about us. Well, I don't know. I, you... Well, that, that's where Bailey comes in. That's where Bailey comes in. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, um, preemptively, I should let everybody know. Uh, we're going to be doing a fast lane challenge, and the stakes will be even higher oh, than they no. were for the chamber challenge. Oh no! Because oh, I'm starting what? to get Matt, bored. Matt, uh, um, <laughs> Matt, do you have an idea for the for what the fast lane challenge is? Because I have one. You know what? Um, my slack. guess, it's... my guest on. Talking Mayhem Mania this week is going to be Mad Mike, and we're going to spitball this thing. Oh no! On the show, yeah! So we're going to both work this out. Little incentive to watch. So right. I can't have Larry on because he's suspended. He he is. Punch he the is. ref. <laughs> Punch the yellow card. Punch the ref. Oh no! Oh no! Well, on that point, we're going to get to what we learned in a moment. But in the meantime, want to throw out a uh, shout out to our friends at Bold Sports. Uh, so we talk a lot about professional wrestling and there's some other sports that, uh, you know, some people still believe in out there and that's where bold sports comes in. Check them out. Bold Pittsburgh, boldpgh.com. Look for bold sports on the Sorgatron media master feed on your, uh, favorite iTunes provider. Join uh, Steve and Matt as they bring, uh, you the weekly sports recap on the bold Pittsburgh sports each week. It's like sitting at the bar with two guys that, that, uh, tend to know sports. So uh, those guys have a lot of fun there. We had a great Super Bowl brunch party uh, with uh, one of the guys from uh, Penn Brewery and a crew in here a few weeks ago. Uh, go check it out. Uh, Bold Sports Pittsburgh uh, over on the uh, Bold, uh, Bold Pittsburgh site. Um, so now it's time to find out what did we learn in wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? Actually, since Larry was uh, – Put out of that last segment. We'll let you go first. <laughs> Are you feeling put out? Uh, he knows what he did. I so learned. Are you going to retreat to the basement now? I learned there's no love for Bart Gunn. That's what I learned. <laughs> oh, he man, is a, man works his ass off for all those years. Lesser gun. The lesser gun. By far the lesser of the two guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you learn? He's uh, the pea shooter. <laughs> oh, what'd you learn, Mainstream Matt? Oh, jeez. Um... I, I, I learned a lot, Sorg. Mm -hmm. I, I learned... Uh, um, <laughs> pass! I can't pass? I don't know what I learned. I'm trying to think right now. I'm like, All what right, the hell happened on. at the chamber? What about you, over? Wheels? What did I learn? I learned that any man with... Oh, no, no, no that's the wrong one. Um, I learned <laughs> that I truly love women's wrestling, and I really love London Ollie. And new girlfriend for Wheels... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not really, sort. <smart>. Wow. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there, Wheels. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, London debuted with RWA this past weekend in a three-way with uh, Nina Monet and uh, Holiday. Um, and yeah, it was it was uh, it was. Uh, we've seen her mostly in intergender over at Rise, uh, so it was good to see her for the first time for, for me at least. And uh, and I think she's she's pretty new, isn't she? Like she's only maybe a year or so in, maybe close to a year. So close to a year in, so looked really good. Um, the women's, the quality of women's matches have been really getting up there in, in RWA lately. Um, so it's been really, and they've, been, they've been good for, for, for a, w a bit now, but, uh, but no, it, it's, it's, a, it's been pretty steady lately. It's, it's awesome. And, and she's a great, uh, addition to that too. Right. Wheels. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. I mean, 
I was really impressed with her. I mean, all three, like you said, all three women did very well in that match, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, so if you want to preview that, there is a, a clip of that over on RWA's um, Facebook and YouTube page as well uh, of that three-way, and a uh, full version uh, open uh, available, of course, at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, producer Missy has the microphone. I learned that Kurt Angle must be really, 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 really sick over the weekend because yeah. he, he was just kind of out of his senses. He had a relapse. He, he had a relapse, yes. Uh, that was an interesting choice of words that they chose for that. Yeah, yeah. For what was going on there. Um, <laughs> but, the, but that entire segment, I just, I loved. Mm-hmm. So, yes, that's, that's what I learned. I, I enjoyed something with wrestling this week. I love when she sounds surprised when it happens. <laughs> Do you have one uh, mainstream match? I, yeah, I, I did remember something. I learned that Elias is uh, finally tired of Corey Graves taking shots at him on uh, commentary mm-hmm. because he fired back Stayed finally on Raw. Yeah, he did. Took a little shot at Gravy. And you know what? I, I'm sure people enjoy it in other parts of the country, but here it, it resonates so much more. You know what I learned? I learned that um, uh, Corey Graves uh, uh, apparently took his uh, brother's hairstyle <laughs> Uh, because uh, uh, well, Sam- he wasn't using it anymore. No, he wasn't so. using it anymore. <laughs> Sam Elias, of course, really big in Mexico right now in CMLL. He'll be joining us for IWC here on March seventeenth. I believe there is also a seminar happening around that as well for any of you guys, young wrestlers that want to be a part of that. Uh, but he, yeah, he he had that blonde kind of like shaved I, on the I sides. I thought he was thing. doing a Bobby Heenan thing. You think it was a Bobby Heenan thing? That could be. That's what I think. Because if you look at if you look at like old school feathered hair Heenan, Mm -hmm. very similar. A little bit, a little bit, but 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 his brother had a very similar look to what he's kind of sporting now, you know. So I think it was a little maybe it's like, well, you're done with that. The other brother is gonna take it. So who knows? Also, um I also learned I also learned that uh, Booger T got his hands on him. Uh, <laughs> the references during the kickoff show were pretty fun, too. Uh, and, and somebody had to explain. I, was it you, Larry, or um, who else was here that was explaining? No, Billy Billy was here uh, explaining because I didn't know there was more radio talk between the two of them, the Booker T, Corey Gray's feud. And that's why they dropped the line of, like, like Corey's like, I don't want to have to run into the guy at a Starbucks and, and, and have problems <laughs> with Booker T. Uh, so, yeah, they were, they were kind of taking their little fun shots at each other. There, there too so that, that was a little fun yeah um who else i i didn't learn yet sorg uh <laughs> man mike get your learning on um i learned that i think we can officially declare the wrestling mayhem show the development podcast for the enc pod of awesomeness <laughs> yeah yeah uh you you, you disclosed <laughs> this to me why why is that yeah. Mike? so i've been listening to edge and christian's podcast and as all should three three weeks in a row Corey Graves, Johnny Gargano, Elias, all three friends of this here program. Yes, yes. Well, all three have been on this show. So if Edge and Christian are the rocket strappers, we are the puddle jumpers. <laughs> I don't – I think we need to work on that terminology. Firecrackers? Yeah. Firecrackers? That might be. No, because they go off in people's hands and they injure people. Okay. Well, either way, I look forward to the Beast Man being on Edge and Christian's podcast after this. All, all podcasts are great, and of course, this is the finest of them all. But of course, I mean, Elias's appearances on uh, Edge and Christian's and on Austin's podcast are so much fun to listen. It's to. been a lot of fun, like between uh, Gargano, I, I noticed, uh, but like hearing them tell these guys same stories that they told on our show like ages ago yeah is surreal yeah i guess i like when they start name dropping like local pittsburgh guys yeah it's really yeah. Fun. yeah yeah that's fun like dropping the shirley doe and the iwc yeah. and, and things like that that's uh, that's a lot of fun beast man what did you learn from <laughs> well i learned a rocket billy still has relevance in the world so <laughs> <laughs> And I also learned that that is not the Mad Mike that I know. So nope. Now you know another <laughs> Mad Mike. No, that's wheels. That's wheels. <laughs> that's wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look but the I same. am the wheels that you know. Hashtag yeah. Dark Moon Rising. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, but anyways, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, sorry, the chat room. Chat room. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The chat room learned things. Um, let's see. Bobby F. J. Town learned that uh, I'm challenging the Undertaker. What? <laughs> uh, also, the Undertaker wasn't 
was not on WrestleMania Challenge for NES. Okay. Um, also, <laughs> John learned that uh, uh, well, well, he's asking if we'll see Gargano on 205 after Mania. Could be. Uh, Brandon learned that. Uh, Brandon learned that Cena will do anything to get in a WrestleMania match. Um, like including five. Uh, well, he he won't wrestle Kurt Hawkins. Except wrestle Kurt <laughs> Hawkins. Um, also, Tina learned that ignorance still breeds in wrestling. <laughs> yeah, they were talking about. Uh, well, well, yeah, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, we won't get into that. Uh, also, Alex learned that you don't trust dirty sh- dirty sheet sites that uh, spoil everything. Alex is really mad at Meltzer right now this week. By the way, Alex, if you don't <laughs> want Lucha Underground spoiled, just cancel your subscription now. Just go back later. It's Alex, gonna be fine. You, Melts don't need your money. Upset, what, just what? give me your tickets. There's that too. Uh, Dave learned that Steph is the baddest woman on the planet. <laughs> <I'm> t- <laughs> Swallow that for a second, guys. <laughs> the baddest woman on the planet. Yeah. Unquestionably. Unquestionably. <laughs> Beast man, thank you so much for joining us. Where are you? Where can people find you online? Find me on uh, Facebook at facebook.com backslash Beastman Husk. You can find me at Twitter at Beastman Husk and on Instagram at Beastman Husk. And you'll be seeing me in the coming weeks. You'll be seeing me Saturday night at the fight at Fight Society in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. This Sunday at the Diamond Plex in Benwell, West Virginia for Black Diamond Wrestling. And then next week, uh, for all my fans out in Ohio, you'll see me, actually, you'll see me Friday in Charleston, West Virginia. For real shoot wrestling, Saturday you get to see me twice in Ohio, in Youngstown at the Harley Davidson dealership for Quaker City Wrestling. Then you can see me later that night in Maslin, Ohio for Middle Ohio Wrestling, and then that Sunday uh, you all can also see me in Lima, Ohio for War. Uh, 